old school YouTuber Linus Tech Tips is in the hot water, Dane. Can't believe it. I've been going to them for forever to get reviews on computer, via parts, keyboards, all this stuff. And Dane, it's not looking good. How? He's a tech guy. How did they get the tech guy? <laughs> How did they get the tech guy? Well, it's, it, the way it's looking is the tech guy kind of got himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right. So if you don't know who Linus Tech Tips is, it's it's a, ch it's a channel that's been around for, for a long time. And they, they do reviews on like uh, tech, gadgets, computer parts. So they I think they started out just building computers like in their kitchen and making videos about it. Uh, and fast forward to now to where the, the, the number of like a hundred million dollar like media company is what, is what it's developed into. And he's still the face of it. And... You may also know him from this meme right here, little sad Linus. This is this is when he talked about uh, retiring. Uh, I think it was three years ago, you know. And he's still he's still going, still going strong, <laughs> you know. He okay. did, did, did the YouTuber things like I'm thinking about retiring. Sad face. Uh, and then you also may remember that he got hacked at one point. Like they had have several channels. Uh, their channels got hacked, and there was like a big cryptocurrency, you know, push. Dane, actually, I think, I think, I think you, you got this. Yeah, they didn't got you? me too. They got, you they too. got me too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm too techy. That's what it is. They come after the tech guys, you know? Yeah. He, he's also had Twitter beef with Pokemon at some point. Um, <laughs> he's kind of all over the place, really. And really? so a, a channel called Gamer Nexus, Gamers Nexus, excuse me, made a 44 minute video calling out <laughs> the Linus Tech Tips for their accuracy, ethics, and responsibility. Not only that, but now there's also sexual harassment allegations that are, that are going out uh with for their Gosh. their company it's not it's not all about linus he is like the face i think the owner of the whole company yeah. so he is responsible for it to some like to most of the degree but it's also the company in general has also got a got a bad look and i sat here last night and like watched this whole video i wasn't gonna make a video about it i was just like i was like oh snap oh oh this is crazy and then I got up and looked at my Twitter and I saw there's also sexual harassment by one of their previous female employees. And I was like, all right, <laughs> okay. All right, let's just, let's get into it. This is the man right here. Yeah, there's actually a meme about it. Like he, he goes, this dude rips him so much that they got memes. He's like, look at me. I am tech tips man now because he really, he does it. He does it in a, a he's not like stirring up drama. He goes through yeah. and looks at it objectively and is like, there are these are things they're doing that are wrong. They're they're not inf <laughs> the, the wrong information. All these reasons. It's like pr a pretty well made video, straight forty four minutes. The then the the summary is then Linus responds to it with a, a pretty crap response. Uh, then oh, do makes wow. another video saying how crap their response was, and then they've made a apology video. And that apology video uh, from Linus Tech Tips is getting thrown under the bus too because it's monetized. There's a bunch of jokes in it. <laughs> um, oh. That reminds me, Linus also Ooh. almost got in trouble for, uh, he was on a podcast one time and <laughs> they were like, uh, they were talking about using the hard R, language that uses hard R, right? No. And, and Linus was like, was like, yeah, man, well, yeah, the hard R has been like in my vocabulary for, for forever or something like that. And they were all like, <gasps> they were like, bro, what? <laughs> Dude, what, what, what did you just say? He's like, yeah. He's like. So you go around saying the N word all the time. He's like, what? No, no, no. Like the, the, the gamer, you know, the mental disability thing. And they're like, that's not what we're talking about. Wow. <laughs> anyway, that, that was that's about not much better either. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it, that, I forget when that happened, but yeah, that was the thing too. So he's, he's kind of all over the place really, you know, <laughs> anyway. So one, one of the major critiques, uh, that attribute to why uh, the guys on Gamer Nexus think that they have they they have wrong information is because they put out so many videos and here, I'll I'll just play this part of the his video right here on Gamer Nexus. Let's publish less videos. I wish we could back off the amount and focus on quality for a bit. I don't love that we have to release so many. So videos. here we go. This is the part like where it shows how many videos per week like they produce, twenty five oh. plus videos. A week. Are you serious? Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of videos. Like you got, uh, I mean, maybe they're making original YouTube shorts uh, or, or maybe they're just reusing what they do, but they got like this, like six main channel uh, videos and like we do six on my channel, right? right? Yeah. And they do a WAN show, which I think is their 
I think it's like a podcast and then a uh, tech linked and short story. Like they got all these different things and that's every week. So a lot of this video on wow. Gamer Nexus, you can say like this video is this guy's far smarter than I am when it comes to this, this stuff. And he's just going through it, like showing like graphs and like circling, like how, how things just don't make sense what they're saying. Um, but like a majority of the video is talking about how the data that they're showing is just wrong and they're having to put out so many videos uh, so they can't really check their work or even if they do, they see, they may not even care because. Oh, the, because they got to read the, read the deadline. Yeah. Well that, and then like, so there's a part of this video that talks about, uh, asterisk errors. So YouTube used to have the thing where you can put the text on the screen and yeah. pe people would like fill it up with so much that YouTube got rid of it. Uh, but they would go and make asterisks themselves like during editing, right? Like the, the video has been recorded that sit down be doing putting it together there would be an error that they would catch but instead of like reshooting it or redoing anything they would just put an asterisk there the errors that they would talk the that they would asterisk would would lead up to like kind of their how they rated the product so they may they make it to the end of it and be like no i don't like it but it's based off the error wow this is not a smooth mouse and that's really disappointing this guy uh, doesn't like this mouse because it's not smooth, but they didn't take the tape off the bottom of the mouse on this on the pads. You know, when you get a new mouse, it's got the tape on the bottom of it. They didn't take it off. Are you serious? The, everyone was mad that like, oh, well, it's not must not be well made if like the guys who review it didn't even realize there was tape on it to take it off. Uh, but they, like they didn't go, oh, whoops, you know. We should take that video down or redo it or anything like that. And do a, yeah, give yeah. the, the item a fair shake. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, well, it's their fault, not our fault, you know. And so there's still this <laughs> bad review of this mouse. Uh, wow. But the worst part that they talk about in here is uh, based off of oh, what, is, what is this thing? It's a cooler, right? And billet. All right, billet, billet labs. So they made like a cooler. Right. They they get this thing, and yeah, they just dog on it. They hate it, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> It wasn't used properly. They they, 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 <laughs> they sent them their prototype. It wasn't used properly. They they didn't. They, it just. It was not even like an actual how it works review. It was just a. It was a, just a. It was. It wasn't good. Uh, yeah. So they throw it under the bus, and the apparently they state that they're going to give the prototype back to the company. Uh, the company never gets it back. They auction it off. <laughs> and sell and they sell it <laughs> and, <laughs> and in here this is like this is like this thing right here is theft accidental <laughs> auction <laughs> uh, so this video comes out right <clears throat> that he makes this video gamer nexus gamers nexus makes this video last tech tips has this response which is very very lengthy uh yeah. they go through and they go through the response and it's it's like it's not a good response it's not a good look it's it's Mm. <laughs> like here's the video of like terrible response it's like another 20 minute part uh the, the guy goes out and reaches out to billet labs to like fact check because they're like i don't want to misspeak about it but they're talking about how they're they're going to pay billet labs uh the amount that they said that they need to pay him for their prototype uh right. and then built labs is a response like you know they didn't reach out to us until after you after gamers nexus video released so it's like all back in trying to fix stuff and they're blaming and like, the the company who's prototype got sold after it got dogged <laughs> in front of millions or whoever however many views the video got and they can't even get their prototype back well so it, the the response to you know why didn't they go back and just like test the prototype properly uh was basically this what adam asked is if we could spend more time and what i told him was no for real okay it's 800 us dollars I, I don't know, guys. I'm not sure if I can apologize for not spending another 100, 200, 300, 500 dollars. Guys, I don't know if I can go back and remake, you know, you know, do it right because I may have to spend 500 dollars of our 100 million there. Wow. <laughs> or whatever, right? So, yeah, there's everyone's you should watch the whole video. Like go go to Gamers Next. I actually link it down in the description. It's pretty good. So, continuing forward. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so after the, he, he, the guy, um, his name is Steven. He responds to the, the response. He even says in his videos, like if they, if they'd like come out with another response after this, 
I'm not going to believe it because this the, their immediate response kind of shows me like what their true colors are. And of course, yeah. then they do they do make a video and it's getting. <laughs> <laughs> They announced that all video production will pause while the team works on long-term workflow change in a new video in which they also address key points of criticism first raised by Gamers Nexus. This this comes following a heated exchange between Gamers, ne Gamers Nexus and Linus Tech Tips, which highlighted poor working conditions in addition to inaccurate pro uh, product testing and benchmark data. And ex Linus Tech em Tips employees have also spoken out regarding their experience of working at the company, recounting allegations Ooh. of sexism, bully, and bullying. Their claims are not addressed in the video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they also have like they got like a new CEO, and then they, all these all these business people that are involved now, and they get on in there and they they talk. And uh, the, I mean, the, I got the like and dislike ratio thing turned off. It's got a lot of dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> what has happened? To Linus Tech Tips, man. You That's know what it. I mean? Like, crazy. You get, like, the money hit it, and it just, now it's just corrupted, you know? Uh, that, that's, this has been my long standing, my long term opinion on all content creators. They're all pretty bad people, in my opinion. <laughs> Not not all of them, but a lot <laughs> of them, you know, like, yeah. they, they're, they got, you have your, what you show in videos, you're, you're, oh, I'm happy, oh, I'm, oh, you know, charisma, na, 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 na. And then you, like, get to know them behind the scenes and you go, ugh. Like, ugh. Wow. Uh, that's, that's, that's why my, my, my YouTube friends list on the, on the back end is, is not very big. <laughs> it's because I meet people and go, hey, good God. <laughs> you're a real dude. Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but then it goes, like, Linus calls his own wow. apology lame. He's like, my lame response in the forum was a huge and un unnecessary blunder. He even calls his own apology lame, dude. Yeah, and there's just a lot of backpedaling. Wow. And, well, they also talk about this in Gamers Nexus video is about how they, they keep talking about like reading the room or doing things that they expect others to expect. Like, instead of reviewing things and being like, this is what it is, it's like they're pandering to things. There's, there's just a lot of, a lot of that. Like, even like, he's like, well, you know, I had my response. That's how I felt about it. But now, so you guys don't like it. So now it's lame. You know, there's just a lot of that. Wow. Uh, and then, you know, Exelanus Tech Tips employee alleges mistreatment and poor conditions. No one gets a break. What started as criticism over errors in recent YouTube videos has escalated to allegations over sexual harassment prompting the company to hire an outside investigator. Dun, dun, wow. dun. Yeah. And and the poor work conditions and no breaks. There's no way they got time to take a break. They got 25 videos to do. <laughs> they got to keep making <laughs> them, week. man. A week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we looked at our what TCAP playlist the other day, and we were like, "Wow, we have 57. <laughs> wow. That's a lot. 57 on one topic. <laughs> Whoa, it's so wild to me, man. I mean, I know when money gets involved with YouTubers and stuff, it gets, mm, yeah." Yeah, but still, dude, like, how hard is it to be a good person? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how hard is it, dude? Well, my... my and, and sadly, it seems harder than it should be for a lot of people. Well, my, my theory on that is, is, like, why do YouTubers become bad people? Guys, are, are they are they bad people initially? I don't think so. I mean, I, I, I think that most people are good people, uh, to be honest. I think they just get enabled, and they, they, are, they are just normal. They're usually just normal, broke people that have a hobby... And it turns into their job and they have a lot of fans. They're like, you're the best thing ever. You're so great. I get all this attention. You know, you all companies are reaching out to you, want to work with you. you, you you're like on top of the world all of a sudden. Right. Yeah. And but you come from like not much. <laughs> and so like a lot of YouTubers, I feel, don't know how to handle it. Right. And so they just kind of wing it and they and think that everything's okay because you know the oh my fans think i'm great oh i can do this i can do that whatever you know nobody cares i'll just say sorry or whatever and it's and i don't think I don't, like i said i don't think they lose themselves i think they just kind of think that nothing bad will happen to them because of the way they act right which is always very satisfying when it does oh oh it's so sweet oh my god Daddy. i was like yes Amazing. oh man but anyway that's uh, that's kind of a, a very it's a very broad dump on the linus tech tips stuff I'm, there's more to it i'm sure you guys in the comment section are going to fill in stuff that uh we missed but yeah do that do that check, fill it in yeah. and let us know <laughs> and then the gamer like check out the gamers nexus video too because it's very it's good it's a good video but anyway Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Say to my friends. Love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.